Hey y'all, we're gonna make some pulled pork today. So what I have is, I have a seven pound pork shoulder. And what I did was took mustard and put it all over top of it. So in here, and we're gonna make a rub for it. We got two thirds of a cup of brown sugar. We have one teaspoon of cayenne. Then I have a quarter cup of paprika. Then we are going to add one tablespoon of salt. Okay. We're going to add one tablespoon of black pepper. Now, if you do not use all this, you can turn around and store it in a little mason jar and it will keep you for a while. One tablespoon of garlic powder. One tablespoon of onion powder. And then we need one tablespoon of chili powder. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and just mix this all together and we're gonna put it all over top of our pork roast. And then we are gonna get this, um, we're gonna put two cups of either apple juice or apple cider or something in the bottom. And we're gonna put this in the oven today. So it's been kind of chilly and my smoker probably is not gonna maintain the temperature with the wind. So we're gonna throw it in the oven. So I'm gonna finish getting this mixed up and then we're gonna put it on top of our pork roast. All right, y'all, so we got that all mixed together. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of this all over our roast here. And then we are gonna pop this in the oven and we are gonna start out at 425 degrees for about 15 minutes. And it's gonna be uncovered at first. All right, so let's go ahead and put it over top and try to cover it as best as you can. What are you all having for dinner tonight? I'm gonna get this in this morning so we have this for dinner tonight. Okay, so I'm not gonna use all of this so there we go, we got a, some to put away for another one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get two cups of apple juice. All right, y'all, so I got two cups here. We're gonna go ahead and dump it in here. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit more seasoning for where I knocked it off. You could probably prevent that by putting the juice in first. Okay. And then I'm gonna pop this in 425 for 15 minutes uncovered. Then we're gonna come back. We're gonna cover it up and we're gonna drop the temperature to 325 degrees for about two hours. And then we're gonna bump up the temperature just a little more to about 350 degrees for another probably about 40 minutes. So I will let you know when we get back and I will tell you how long it took us. All right, y'all, so we just took it out. It's been 15 minutes uncovered. Now we're gonna drop the temperature to 325 degrees and we're gonna put a lid on it. And then we are gonna cook this for two hours with the lid on at 325 degrees. I also want to let everybody know I have cookbooks available for purchase. I'll put a link above this post and below this post if you want to go get yourself one. So I'll see you back here in about two hours. All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and start our barbecue sauce for our pulled pork. I have one cup of ketchup in here. We're going to need two teaspoons of minced garlic. Now we're gonna go with a half a cup of beef stock. Okay. 
Now we need two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now we want two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. And there is two. Okay, I have my fire on a simmer right now until I get everything in there. Now you want two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And there's two. Now we need one and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And there's one tablespoon and a half. Now we're gonna need some smoked paprika. All right, let's go ahead and add two teaspoons of smoked paprika. And then we're gonna add two teaspoons of black pepper. And we're gonna bring this to a boil. And once it hits a boil, we're gonna turn it down to a simmer and cook it for 15 minutes. All right, y'all, so it came up to a boil. Now we're just gonna go ahead and turn the heat down and we're gonna simmer this for 15 minutes. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off on our barbecue and let this sit until we are done with our pulled pork. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so now we are gonna bump up our temperature to 350 degrees, and we are gonna put this back in 45 minutes to an hour. And again, it's really gonna make a difference of how large your pork roast is. So you want it to be easy to come apart. So I will see you back here in about an hour. All right, y'all. So we just pulled this out and it's been in there for an hour and it's fork tender. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this out of the liquid. We're going to take out the bone that's in there and we're going to shred this up. All right, y'all. So we went, ahead, went ahead and took all the bones out of there. We took all the fat out. And we put our meat in a bowl. And what we're going to do is we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of our seasoning inside of our meat. Probably about two to three teaspoons. And we're going to go ahead and toss this around. All right, y'all. So you can either take the barbecue sauce and put it on your own sandwiches. Or you can just dump it in and we're going to dump all this in and we're going to give it a stir around and toss everything together. And you can eat this on a bun. You can eat it by itself. However you want to eat your pulled pork. That's completely up to you. So let's go ahead and get this tossed around. All right, y'all, I got it all mixed up and I put some on some slider buns. So give this a try. Let us know how you like it. If anybody has any comments, questions, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. The link for the cookbook will be above this post and below in the comments. And I hope everybody has a wonderful evening.